we wanted to do a detailed video about physics in BuildBox, but when we started doing it, the length of the video was coming close to an hour. So we decided to break down the video in separate parts. This video is not going to be on specific topic about physics, but it will just show how to set up physics for two sports, basketball and soccer. We will be posting detailed physics videos soon, so subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon, so you wouldn't miss when they come out. Billbox is having another game jam, and the theme for it is sports. They also provided free sports assets that you can use in your game. We'll use those sports assets to set up some physics for some sports. Let's start with basketball. Let's drop a basketball court, basketball hoop, and add a basketball, resize it to 0.03, and let's turn on physics for our basketball court, and they have a set it to static, and we'll also turn on physics for our hoop. And let's also switch to landscape, and let's see what we have. So as we can see that there's some weird physics going on with their ball and also our hoop is not being displayed properly. We're missing the bottom portion of our hoop and the backboard is not showing the right texture. There's some kind of bug going on because it looks fine in our scene editor. To fix that, we can go to our basketball hoop under 3D model, go into blending and disable blending because that's what's causing the issue. The drawback of disabling blending is that the net is no longer transparent and it's filled in with black. But we're not here to talk about textures, we're here to talk about physics. So we turn on our collision editor and take a look at the collisions that are used. For the, the basketball court, a cube is being used. For a hoop, a mesh is being used. And for the ball, we also have a mesh being used. So what we want to do is switch from mesh to a hull instead. When we make that switch, we don't have that weird physics behavior on the ball when it hits the ground. If you want to add some bounce to your ball, we can change that by going into our ball and let's set bounce to one. The bounce is calculated from two objects that collide. So if we set bounce to one and the bounce of our floor is at point one, we're not gonna see that much bounce. If we set it to one, then we can see that the ball continues to bounce. Let's decrease our bounce to 0.7. That looks more realistic. Uh, one thing that I find annoying is the trail. We'll delete the trail from the basketball. Now let's go see how the basketball interacts with the hoop. Let's exit out of the collision editor and let's move our basketball to the hoop. And also we want to move our camera to the hoop. Now let's place the basketball right above our basketball hoop and it looks like the physics are working correctly. So this is a setup that we could do for basketball. Let's try doing soccer now. So let's add a soccer field, let's add a soccer goal and a soccer ball. Resize it to 0.05. Let's move our camera closer and let's set up the physics, turn on physics for our soccer field and our soccer goal. And let's go to the collision editor and check our collisions. For the soccer field, we have a cube that has been used. For the goal, we are using mesh. Let's go to our soccer ball. Let's remove our trail and add a is touch node and a jump node. And what we want to do is when the soccer ball is touched, we want to launch it into the negative 15 and five up. And let's actually change our world color to a sky color. Now we can see that we're also having that issue with texture. And when we have the ball set to mesh and the goal to mesh, there's no physics collision between them. So that's another reason why we actually want to set the ball physics to hull. Now let's go fix the texture issue. How we partially fix the texture here is by disabling the blending for the field which leaves our goal transparent. But if you look, there's still some issue with overlapping shading. We show two ways how to fix this texture issue. Neither one of them is perfect, but you'll have to use one of these methods before the bug is fixed. In this video, we looked at how to create physics for two sports, basketball and soccer. Like mentioned in the beginning of the video, we'll be making detailed videos on Billbox physics Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get a notification when we release those videos. And don't forget to click on the like button if you like this video.